Hey guys, it's Sophia Carson from Descendants. And you're watching Disney Channel. Venus 22, also known as Chelsea Bells, depending on where you see me. Hey everyone, this is Olga Gopta Phoenix with Mofino! <laughs> so let's get the show on the road! I know all there is to know in the galaxy. I am Xiaomei the Time Oracle. But you already know me. Greetings! Thank you all! And welcome back to the road of Season 6 of Miraculous Ladybug with seven months left to go until Season 6. The question will remain. Well, Season 6 opening will be different than Phase 1 with Season 5 wrapped up in December of last year. Fans have been wondering on um, what the future of the series will hold on forever. In this editorial, we're going to be discussing Miraculous Season 6's opening. 1. How everything will be different since we're in a different universe. 2. How the Unreal Engine will handle a new style. 3. And who's in the opening and who's not. Christina B is actually going to redo the intro? That's super exciting news! Her voice brings so much character to Ladybug, and it would be amazing to hear a new version of the theme and the changes in the storyline. The fact that some characters now know Ladybug's secret identity adds a new layer to the depth of the story. And talking about it, doing it in Unreal Engine 5, that would be so groundbreaking! The graphics and visual effects would be incredibly realistic and immersive, and it's such a powerful tool for creating stunning visuals. And it would be fascinating to see how it could bring a fresh look to the world of Miraculous Ladybug. Moving away from the college friend Schwab DuPont to a new high school will really change the dynamic. It's always refreshing to see new environments to its new scenery. And it keeps things interesting and gives characters new challenges and adventures to face. And with Chloe being out of the picture, I wonder that how that will affect the overall story since that she has been such a significant part of the drama and character development. Sabrina too, without Chloe, could have the chance to grow in a new direction, which is super exciting. The introduction of Iris 30 sounds intriguing as well. It'd be great to get to know her character, and new characters meet new relationships and potentially new plots. Adrian will definitely have some adjusting to do with these changes. The storyline just keeps getting more and more complex, doesn't it? <laughs> Good riddance. Gabriel will be absent because the main version of him who sacrificed himself to be with Emily is no longer alive. Meanwhile, the reverse butterfly version is alive and kicking. That's a big narrative curveball and will surely add an intense emotional layer to the series. It's really a breath of fresh air to hear that Marinette is moving her past struggles and becoming a stronger character. Overcoming her post-traumatic stress disorder and leaving behind what some fans call the Spongebob Season 4 Stalking Syndrome known better as the Ned Flanderized Disorder. Oh, you stupid son of a- Character development. And it's important for it 
the show to portray growth. And it's something I'm sure many fans, including myself, are most highly excited to see. The visual of Marinette running over rooftops with Cat Noir has been so iconic in its bittersweet to see it replaced. But it symbolizes our evolution in the show's progression and its introduction of Cerise's other identity, Iris, has bound to create new dynamics in the storyline. Replacing the collage shot with Team Miraculous put themselves in the spotlight on the teamwork and it's a great way to honor all the characters that contribute to fight against evil and terror. The introduction of Cerise Bianca is a new villain and the main antagonist is particularly thrilling. New villains always bring fresh challenges and conflict. As the main antagonist, Cerise Bianca will be formidable foe for Team Miraculous. And I'm actually curious about her motifs, powers, and background story. And this is definitely something the fandom will be buzzing about. And this will be the best opening to have Lou and Lenny can like season 4 and 5. And there you have it! I hope Christina V records a new narration like in the daytime on Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life, but there's something about me that some people don't know yet, because I have a secret. A new narration would freshen things up and give us a hint of how the character has grown. Plus, it's always exciting when a new season brings changes like that, almost like adding a small signal to fans that new adventures and challenges are ahead. Let's keep our fingers crossed, like, that something like that happens. And it would give the show that extra spark of magic we all love so much. The scene of Marinette running over the black hat and tripping over will be replaced by something else as this will be Felix's theme song debut along with Bianca, formerly Sairati. Since Chloe has been deported to a minor role or Felix Graham de Vanille and Cerise Bianca are the only characters who are not present in the opening for the entirety of Phase 1. But now starting in Season 6 they are included due to the new storyline. And now, back to our show! And there you have it! That's all for now on this editorial. Stay tuned for the next video, but until then... We'll see you then! Be sure to subscribe to Gabe Bala's YouTube channel. Goodbye. Like and subscribe to Natalie's channel. Not Natalie Lander's channel. We don't care about her. Natalie Elaine's channel, okay? Get it together. It's over. Go away!